हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल एस जी एजुकेशन टूडे वी विल सी क्लास सेवन सब्जेक्ट साइंस चैप्टर फोर्टीन एलिमेंट्स कंपाउंड्स एंड मिक्सचर्स एक्सरसाइज सॉल्यूशंस क्वेश्चन वन हु आर माय कंपेनियंस कॉलम ए फर्स्ट स्टेनलेस स्टील सेकंड सिल्वर थर्ड भाजनी मिक्सचर फॉर मिलिंग फोर्थ साल्ट फिफ्थ कोल सिक्स हाइड्रोजन कॉलम बी ए नॉन मेटल बी कंपाउंड सी मिक्सचर डी एलिमेंट ई अलॉय एफ मेटल आंसर स्टेनलेस स्टील अलॉय सेकंड सिल्वर मेटल थ्री भाजनी मिक्सचर फॉर मिलिंग मिक्सचर फोर साल्ट कंपाउंड फाइव कोल नॉन मेटल सिक्स हाइड्रोजन एलिमेंट क्वेश्चन टू राइट द नेम्स ऑफ एलिमेंट्स फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग सिंबल्स सेड एन सी डी एक्स ई बी आर टी आई सी यू एफ ई एस आई आई आर पी टी आंसर सिंबॉल सेड एन एलिमेंट झिंक सी डी कैडमियम एक्स ई झेनॉन बी आर ब्रोमीन टी आय टिटॅनियम सी यू कॉपर एफ ई आय एन एस आय सिलिकॉन आय आर आरिडियम पी टी प्लॅटिनम क्वेश्चन थ्री वॉट आर द मॉलिक्युलर फॉर्म्युली ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाऊंड्स हायड्रोक्लोरिक ऍसिड सल्फ्युरिक ऍसिड सोडियम क्लोराईड ग्लुकोज मिथेन आंसर हायड्रोक्लोरिक ऍसिड एच सी एल सल्फ्युरिक ऍसिड एच टू एस ओ फोर सोडियम क्लोराईड एन ए सी एल ग्लुकोज सी सिक्स एच ट्वेल्व ओ सिक्स मिथेन सी एच फोर क्वेश्चन फोर क्यू सायंटिफिक रिझन्स क्वेश्चन ए बटर मिल्क इज चर्न टू गेट बटर आन्सर churning is the process of shaking up butter milk to make butter butter is essentially the fat of milk churning physically agitates the cream until it ruptures the membranes surrounding milk fat fat droplets can join with each other to form clumps of fat question b in chromatography the ingredients of a mixture rise up to a limited height when water rises up to the upper end of the paper answer in chromatography two properties of substances are used they are the stability of the substances in the solvent that moves up the ability of the substance to stick to the stationary filter paper so all the components of the mixture do not rise all the way to the upper end of the filter paper but remain behind at limited heights question c a wet cloth is wrapped around a water storage container in summer answer a wet cloth will absorb the heat from the surroundings and it will keep the water in the container cool for a longer time question 5 explain the difference question a metals and non metals answer the difference between metals and non metals is given below one metals are good conductors of heat and electricity non metals are poor conductors of heat and electricity two metals are solids at room temperature except for mercury two non metals exist in all three states three metals are lustrous shiny three non metals are not lustrous except graphite four metals are malleable non metals are brittle non malleable five metals are ductile can be drawn into wire non metals are not ductile 
6. Metals are very hard and strong. Non-metals are brittle, will break down into pieces except diamond. Question B. Mixture and compound. Answer. The difference between mixture and compound is given below. 1. The different substances are not chemically joined together to form a mixture but mixed physically. A compound is formed when two or more elements chemically combine together. Example H2O Chemical formula of water 2. Each substance in the mixture retains its own properties. Compound has fixed properties. 3. Mixtures are impure substances. Compounds are pure substances. 4. Substances from the mixture can easily be separated by physical methods. The constituents of a compound can be separated only by chemical methods. 5. The constituents of a mixture are present in varying properties. Proportions The constituents of a compound are present in fixed proportion. Question C. Atoms and molecules Answer The difference between atoms and molecules is given below. 1. An atom is the fundamental part of matter. A molecule is a group of chemically bonded atoms. 2. Atoms are basic building blocks of matter. Molecule is the smallest unit of a chemical compound. 3. It is foundation of molecules. Molecules it is a foundation of chemical compound. Question D. Separation by distillation and separation by separating funnel. Answer. The difference between separation by distillation and separation by separating funnel is given below. Distillation is used for purification of impure liquids for separating liquid and solids. Example. To separate salt and water from salt water. Separation by separating funnel. This process procedure is used for separating two liquids. Example, separating oil and water. Now question 6. Write answers to the following questions in your own words. Question A. How are the components of mixture separated by simple methods? Answer. Components of mixtures are separated by straining, filtering, sifting, picking, sorting, winnowing, combining with a magnet and sublimation. In a mixture, the constituent substances do not lose their identity. They can be separated easily by physical methods. A. Sedimentation. It is a process of separating and insoluble solid from a liquid in which it is suspended by allowing it to settle to the bottom of the container. Example, muddy water contains heavier particles like sand and soil. Leave this muddy water undisturbed for some time. The heavier soil and sand particles settle down and the clean, the clear upper water is poured out by Decantation B. Filtration It is used for separating insoluble solids from a liquid. Example, mixture of chalk and water is poured through a filter paper in a funnel while the water gets collected in the beaker below. Chalk is retained in the filter paper. C. Evaporation it is used for recovering dissolved solid substances from solutions by evaporation. Example, sugar can be recovered from sugar water. D. Distillation. It is a process of heating a solution containing soluble solids to form vapors of the liquid and then cooling the vapors to get the liquid back. Example, 
a mixture of common salt and water is taken in distillation flask and heated steam rises up and comes out into condenser e sublimation it is a process in which some solids on heating are transformed directly to vapor without passing through the liquid state it is used to separate a mixture of solids the vapors are cooled separately used to separate ammonium chloride iodine camphor and sulfur from any mixture f magnetic separation a mixture with iron fillings as one of the components can be separated using magnet to attract the iron particles away from the mixture question b which elements metals non metals compounds and mixtures do we use in our day to day life answer elements non metal oxygen nitrogen which is present in air hydrogen present in water silicon in memory card lithium to make batteries neon in neon signs lights sulfur used in water treatment agricultural pesticides elements metals present in calcium in milk silver gold used in jewelry aluminium copper iron kitchen vessels mercury in thermometer copper electric wires compounds sodium chloride table salt sodium carbonate washing soda sodium bicarbonate baking soda sodium hypochlorite bleaching powder sodium hydroxide potassium hydroxide in making soaps calcium oxide calcium hydroxide in white washing the buildings hydrochloric acid in cleaning toilets sucrose sugar used in cooking and baking mixtures bhel mixture of puff ice sev groundnuts lemon juice concrete mixture of cement sand and rocks salad mixture of onion cucumber tomato etc sherbat and salt water are also mixtures question c in everyday life where and for what purpose do we use centrifugation answer centrifugation it is a process which involves application of centrifugal force it is used in industrial and laboratory settings it is used for separation of fluids gas or liquid based on density in centrifugation mixture is separated through spinning and the solid settles to the bottom and the solution is clear best example of centrifugal force is working of washing washing machine when it dries the clothes the wet clothes are moving in circular path and a force acts on water particles in clothes and this force pulls water all outer side force involved is centrifugal force which revo- removes the water from the clothes and the clothes are dried in this way cream separation when the machine moves the rod set inside milk moves and the milk is pressurized and solid part from this milk goes outside due to centrifugal force and this solid part is cream in this way the cream is separated from the milk question d where are methods of separation by distillation and by separating funnel used answer distillation it is the process of separating the components or separate substances from a compound it is process of heating a solution containing soluble solids to form vapors of the liquid and then cooling the vapors to get the liquid back distillation method is used in the following to separate components of air into oxygen nitrogen argon etc to separate salt from salt water to purify impure liquids to separate distilled water separating funnel when a mixture of two 
immiscible liquids is left undisturbed two layers are clearly seen to have formed the heavier of the liquids remain below and the lighter liquids floats on it so two liquids in a mixture can be separated by making use of this property example to separate kerosene and water to separate oil and water question e which precaution will you take while using the methods of distillation and separation by separating funnel answer in using distillation allow sufficient space to work in working area should be well lit and well ventilated to prevent the accumulation of alcoholic vapors keep a fire extinguisher handy there should be no obstruction in the piping that could cause pressure build up in the steels and cause it to burst in using separating funnel stopper should be tightly fitted so that the solution does not leak out when the separating funnel is inverted never throw any layer away until you are absolutely sure that you isolated the final product our chapter 14 elements compounds and mixtures exercise solutions are completed if you like this video and want to see the similar videos then please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel sg education thank you